All right, it's heat signature time again. Oh wow, Revelation Fury, that's... See, so, yeah, my plan, I'm gonna come in here and do today's, uh... Nicole Ajavan as today's, uh, challenge character. But first, if I don't use... If I don't go pick up, uh, Revelation Fury right now... Uh, that name's gonna vanish. So I'm gonna grab Revelation Fury and just use them. There. Now they've got a blue dot. Now they are one of my used characters. Um, I can't even remember who these others are. It's been so long. Oh yeah, Jamarian Euler is uh, the one who has no inventory because their thing is they go on, on uh, they go onto the ship with no inventory and see what missions they can do. So they've they've completed seven. Seven out of eight missions? Alright, taken eight missions, completed seven. Not very gloryful, I guess, but the glory system didn't exist when I was playing that, so. Herschel Sagittar is a blade specialist. He's currently carrying five long blades and two short blades, and basically they run through a ship throwing blades everywhere. Not so good, not so good against armors and shields, but you know. Carmen Comfort was, I think, my longest lived character. Well, maybe not. 11 missions. 66 kills. Hmm. Well, longest lived variety out of these. And was just carrying a lot of nice stuff. They should probably retire soon. Yeah, 63% of the way towards their personal mission. Alright. Nicole Adjavon. Uh, personal mission. Kill the three glitter officers responsible for my boyfriend's death, killing as few other people as possible. Three left. Alright, so kill. I haven't had a mission to go, uh, uh, a daily challenge mission to go kill people yet. So that's a, that's a new one. It's been steal stuff, it's been kidnap people, but it's not been kill people. Weak. You're not strong enough to use melee weapons, and luckily I don't have any in my inventory. Tough. You take twice as long to bleed out. Well, that could be handy. Uh, last time I did the daily challenge, I ended up digging it a lot until I died from it. Um, inventory. We have a quiet concussive shotgun. Well, that's not going to be very good for killing the officers I need to kill. But it'll be good for everyone else. Quiet is good. Concussive isn't bad, especially if we have to kill as few other people as possible. Self-charging high-capacity slipstream 5. Hang on. Five charges and uh, self charging. Wow, we're gonna be basically in bullet time almost the whole time. High capacity visitor, five uses, that's five uses across all three missions, so I have to be careful with that. But that could be really useful. Now, I don't have anything to kill, but I'm sure as soon as I go to a mission, I'll get a gun. The only question is, is I'm gonna have to deal with shields, like, so we need to go find out what the mission is all about. Out. Unfortunately, I missed yesterday's daily challenge, which was the uh, a character with uh, the dying trait. Which meant they only had ten minutes to live. Which means they had ten minutes to do the entire three missions. Um, I did watch Pentadex, uh, Tom Francis's playthrough of it, since he's been playing uh, the daily challenge missions all, all week, and uh, he died on the second mission. Some interesting uh, tactics. Alright, what's our mission here? Small glitches ship. Uh, alarm response, target please. Now, glitches, they're the people who like teleports, generally, I guess, but I don't really, I've never really, you know, glommed onto what is different between the different factions. They have different visual styles of the ships, but beyond that, it's just like, oh well, the ship has stuff on it, and enemy have stuff, and I don't know who to, really. So it flees to a telepad, if we set the sound alarm. There's two jammers, that's going to be a pain. Um, in terms of stopping our off slipstream, stopping our teleporters, but it won't stop our shotgun, but our shotgun will stop them, so that's good. Many sentry guns. Ha. Huh. Well. They're not being neutralized by running behind them and switching them off, which I'm trying to do. Ten enemies, six guards with heat sensors and guns, that's alright. Uh, although, hmm. Heat sensors, 
He used to just alert the guards, now the guards will actually set the alarm for 50 cents to pick me up. And that's bad because then the target runs away. Unless I can just count the telepad, that's going to depend on where it is. Then setting the alarm might make the target run right for me, which could be useful. But anyway, we'll see. Four bosses. I'm going to guards. Guns, emergency shields. Alright. Seems, seems reasonable as long as I don't use an emergency shield when I need to shoot them. Be able to do this mission. Let's see what I've got in the shop. I probably won't buy anything yet. Uh, traps. Key cloner. Well, that's expensive. Definitely not buying that. Um, hmm. Chargeable stuff is good, but it's all really expensive right now, and I don't think I'm going to need it for this mission. I don't have a time limit, I've got to minimize kills, so I can actually go and check out the ship. Well, this is obviously the time bonus, but I don't really care about that. I'd rather finish the missions and worry too much about bonuses just yet. So I can go check out the ship and see what there is, and if I think I'm going to need more equipment, I can go back and buy it. I don't know if I will need to. Maybe I will need to, maybe I won't. I just realized I don't have no idea what levels are like uh, game sound versus mic on this uh, meters seem to show it's okay but who knows well that's a very interestingly shaped ship not usually that asymmetrical look at it Target is on the near side at least, so we don't need to worry about the other side at all. Oh, what the fuck happened there? My slipstream just went off. Uh, oh, I must have bumped the right mouse button. Thinking I was still uh, breaking, but uh, access set up. Oh, don't mind. I have a slipstream. What have we got? Where's my target? Oh, how much have down there? Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Regency Cuba, you are doomed to die. It's a jammer. I never really zoomed in on the way. Well, that's a guard and a jammer. Guard prophecy. Got stone lock. And there's another guard there. I think. Underneath the jammer. Alright, so they have. Level 3 key guns, so there must be in a level 2 security, right? They're in level 2 security. There's level 1 doors. How do I get a level 1 key card? So Sini has a level 1 key card. Eternals? No. Hmm. Uh, oh god, there's a jammer. I better, I better take them out as soon as they come here. Although I will alert everybody. It's quite a quiet gun, it's not silent. Like, if you won't alert anybody in that part of the ship, it will hit people here. It is a shotgun, I could just run up here right now, because I've got a slipstream. Why not? Shield. Whoops. Uh -huh. Oh shit, there's the alarm. 12 seconds until the target escapes. Where's the telepad? I didn't even skip that out. Oh, here. Alright. That actually probably worked. That's lucky for me, the telepath's not nearer him, because he is now coming my way. And I can catch him on the way. I'm gonna need a real gun for that. Or I guess I can just knock him out and take him home. I just might as well wait here for him then. Uh, two years of my slipstream, that's fine, that's perfectly fine. Oh, he's got an emergency shield, so I will probably want to slipstream him. Alright, let's... Oh, actually, let's... I can visit behind him. Might 
work better. Okay, that was easier than I expected. Oh, the alarm. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I threw the gun in it. So, oh, what's in this crate? Uh, rechargeable extreme range. Oh, we've got a high capacity one, but that's rechargeable, so yeah, let's get on work for every mission. Cool, I'll have it. Alright, let's get off the ship and uh, go back home. Got so far. It took me 46 seconds, which is uh, of mission time. That's longer than I expected, to be honest. Uh, it didn't seem that long. I wonder how, how that counts. Uh, sort of stream time. I don't know. Harmed five crew, but that's a okay. No, didn't kill any non target. Because I have a total of three, or I fail, or, or at least lose massive star points if I get fail. I've never actually properly seen, even though I still have the alarm. That's cool. Alright, that was pretty good. That was easier than I thought. What else have we got? What's mission two? Whoa! What? We have got to kill December Dust. Uh, there's nothing on the ship. No, no contractors, no users. Like, there's a list of 25 things to worry about. Um, medium sized glitches. Okay, it's medium sized. 15 guards. The bosses have shotguns, but no armor or shields or heat sensors. The guards have emergency shields. That'll be a problem uh, if they see me, but not a problem if I see them first. I think I don't need any new equipment for any of that then. Light reinforcements uh, if I set off the alarm. That's okay. Big jammers and things. Let's check the shop, just remind myself. Um, well, I've got these visitors, which are fun. I've got an extreme range of photo, which could be cool. Although it's like, uh, I suppose it's useful for... Oh, useful for lots of things, really. I was thinking it's useful for turrets, which the previous ship had lots of turrets, but I never saw one. They're all in the part of the ship I never went to. But, I can't submit turrets because that would kill too many enemies. I'm only allowed to kill th tops of three, and I'd rather not kill any except my targets. Alright, what have we got? Let's come in slowly. Assassinate. Yeah, I always use the thing that uh, pointed at the person, but it doesn't until you board the ship. You don't actually know where they are. They are down there, December dust on an errand. They've also got level 3. Good, they've done a shield. That's very handy. <clears throat> this is a problem. Um, maybe? I wonder if I get all of them with a shotgun blast. If I just charge it with my slipstream and shotgun. Why not?
to kill them all. Let's just that one. All right. Uh, that was better than expected. I didn't actually need to throw the thing at him. Um, I could have sworn those weren't going to hit him, but okay. We've got a key card. What else? Anything else in the sector I need to worry about? I really should have scouted the ship, shouldn't I? Alright, he comes through there. That's probably the quickest way to him, and if he's sitting here, it'll be easy to assassinate him. But he's visited to grab whatever's in that chest. Probably nothing I need out here, is that? There's the teleporter where the contractors come in, if we sort of the alarm, that's a long way to go. But then that lets us take out the captain to stop the alarms. And in fact... Oh, no, that might be good. This shotgun is uh, very quick to shoot twice, it's surprising me. Which way do we want to go? I can do the same trick there, probably. Sure, let's just try the same trick again, why not? Whoa. I'm not used to the high velocity of coming out of stream because I don't use them often. Oh, wait, where did the other guy go? Oh, shit. Uh. Three attempts to subvert the shield. Oh, shoot him. Before they can sound the alarm. Alright. Good thing I picked up that sub subverter. Subverter. Good thing I got it. Very handy, your last slipstream is amazingly useful. Alright, this is gonna be. Alright, my target's not there. Let's use my rechargeable visitor, because I don't think I'm gonna need it again. That's pretty damn good range. I can just go in there, grab an extreme range crash beam. Awesome. Also rechargeable. What's my ta what's my uh, what's, this, what's he doing over there? Well actually that's a long way away. How's my slip stream doing? Fine. Let's go let's go shotgun these people. And take them out of the way. Oh wait. Did they hear that? No, they were out of range. Cool. Can I get them all in that in that room? Nope. Anything interesting now? Alright, let's just get them as they walk past. Yeah, or not. And how good I am. Oops, oops. So let's about the shield. And oh, nice. I'm going to swap the lipstick that. Oh shit! I should have taken a gun. He's about to sound the alarm. I don't need the key. Let's shoot him. Alright, he didn't get to sound the alarm. Uh, and he dropped a rechargeable slipstream, which I probably don't need because it's a very good self charging one. But I'll grab it anyway as I leave. Alright, anything else I need to grab on the ship? I'm not going to leave just yet because I need to kill the guy, but perhaps mission complete. Bang. Alright, back home we go. These, these slipstreams are really making it uh, pretty damn easy. 
five charges. Well, I guess we'll see what we end up on the next time. But now, I do have a crash beam. I've got a subvert and a crash beam. They're both three charges. They're both three chain, uh, rechargeable. It's both extreme range. So this is going to be great on for uh, shields and stuff. I don't have anything against armor. I better hope the next mission doesn't have armor guards. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Silent and unscathed. I <laughs> armed ten of them. Took me a minute. This is going pretty well. I'm guessing because this is so easy because of the slipstream and these first two missions are much easier than I expected. I'm expecting the scores are going to be highly competitive on time. <sighs> right, what's the last mission? Well, we have 11 armored emergency shielded guards, but that's not our target. Um. But that is armor. We're not going to be able to do anything about them with the equipment I've got. What the guards up to? Guns and heat sensors, nothing exciting. An acid trap will help get rid of uh, guards, but um, sorry, we'll deal with armor. I don't even have one out of armor. Huge glitches ship, that's a problem. Lum response to target fleet. Now maybe I can use that against me. Uh, oh, there's a tracker. Well, I can crash them or I can subvert them. Okay. There's a defender as well. If the defender's anywhere near my target, that's going to be a pain. But I can deal with his shields. Hmm. Check the shop and decide if I want anything for armor. It's pretty cheap now, only seven, but it would stop me getting a perfect score if I care. I'm gonna go check out the ship. I'm gonna go have a look. I've got a good lot of equipment here. I don't mind if I take a lot of time. Time only costs me bonus style points if I get a perfect score, so it's not really a loss to. Well, we have actually. A locked entry point here, but I have a swapper, so maybe I'll get past that. And the visitors, I could just go jump in there. Hmm. Uh, nope. Oh, there is one. God, phase. Okay, he's a nuisance. Um, he doesn't need a key card, so. No, they don't need the keys to get access to places. I'm going to say, if I. Visit in there, then swap with him, then shoot them. Does that? Oh, but then, like, then he won't hear me. Huh. That might be an interesting tactic. Visit in there, immediately swap with him, shoot them. Then the visitor will take me back to my ship? I don't know. I've never tried a visit with a swapper. I don't think it breaks in horrible ways. Sentry guns talked out for. Coming in here lets me skip a oh, huge amount of the ship, including that lovely group of guards. And that lovely group of guards. Well, where's my tag? All the way over here. With the defender, of course. Oh dear. They've got armor. I, th I thought it didn't. I thought it said that my target wasn't one of the bosses. Alright, well, okay. The pilot's got armor too, so it can't stop the alarm. Wish I could review them for things because I don't remember what the alarm does anymore. Uh, target flees, right? So maybe I should be trying to get to the telepad and then setting up the alarm. But that telepad looks like it's behind level 4 security. Well, he's behind level 5. That's me on level 6. On the other hand, if I can get near the telepad and set off the alarm, then he flees, and I can visit in 
And no, I can't shoot him. I can't shoot him. I need to subvert a sentry gun to kill him. Which means I need to clear out a place with a sentry gun. And then subvert the sentry gun, then set off the alarm and hope it kills him. As he's on the way. Oh dear, this is going to be hard. Whoa, this is huge. I haven't even looked at how I'm going to get past these people yet. There's a boss in every sector with armor. Let's see, you count the bosses I need to get through. One, two, three, let's say I'm going for that sentry gun. Four bosses I need to get through. If I buy, if I buy an acid trap, I believe the traps recharge themselves so they don't run out of charges. I don't know. Let's go back to the shop. Let's go back to the shop. Let's go to the shop. I need to minimize kills as well, so. Uh, that's a trap. I can get the, guard, get the armored guards to step on it, seems like really what I'm gonna need to do here. I wanna succeed at the mission, that's my primary goal, so. I'll definitely keep the swapper, keep the crash beam, keep the subverter. Definitely keep the slipstream, absolutely keep the slipstream. I don't know why that's not the default. I don't even need both the visitors, but uh, I don't know if I want to buy a crash trap as well. I've got three crash beam chargers. The only people with. Uh, actually, can I review the mission details here? Yeah. There are four guards with shields. So the only people I need to crash through a crash beam, that will deal with three of them. Actually, five, because that includes my target. I've got to crash him. Uh, or I won't be able to. The sentry gun. Oh, the sentry gun won't ignore the shield, will it? No, the sentry gun will ignore armor, but not the shield. So I'm going to need some extra crash uh, crash power, I think. Oh, I want to get got three subverters. I need one for the sentry gun, one for my target. One for force guard that's running very fine. That's me needing to use three crash beams and three subverter charges to succeed if everything goes according to plan. Hmm. Self charging, continually recharge itself for free, but medium capacity can be used three times. I don't know what that means. Does it does capacity recharge? Or does it mean I have to wait for it to self-charge before I can use it again? I don't know, I've never actually used traps before. They didn't exist the last time I played. It's been a while. Well, last time I was playing through, so I've done a few daily challenges in the last few days, but not tried traps. Let's buy the crash trap. No, ass trap. Ass trap, I need to strip armor. That's not good enough. I have four guys I need to strip armor from. Uh, four, four guys. Unless that, unless that does recharge its charges. Let's assume it does. Right. Do I want the crash trap? It means giving something up, like the extreme range visitor. High capacity one in Rat's dead because it's not quite as good for range. Hmm. Oh, hey! I can subvert the. or crash, subvert or crash the um, teleporter, or I can actually use it myself. I can use it myself. I don't need to subvert a uh, gun. If I can get to the teleporter, I can just use it myself when he comes in the room. And then teleport him into space and he'll die. 
His emergency shield won't help him there. I'll pick myself up. And, uh... That'll be fine. Maybe we can launch him into space before that, I don't know. But... Okay, so that means four bosses to deal with. Strip the armor from three, crash three, then they're, they're ordinary. Force them on that can subvert. He's still got armor. How do we deal with his armor? I can't deal with his armor. So I need to try and avoid one if I can. So maybe my plan to visit and swap with the very first guard. Maybe he can just run past the whole sector. If I set off the alarm, he'll run for the thing. If I can just run past people with my slipstream, maybe I shouldn't have bought that acid trap. Oh, well, it's too late now. I can't sort back and, and get my credit back. Fuck it, let's just do it. You can think too much, and I tend to do so, especially in heat signature. Because no plan survives contact with the enemy ship. Than in this game. Alright, where's that? Where's that? Medium security lock. Oh, they're all clustered up now. I can like make them put the bottle back or start shooting or whatever. What are we doing here? So, if my plan is to get to the telepad, how far away is he from the telepad? He's down here. Telepad is not very far away from it. Oh, there's a sentry gun on it. If I subvert it, does that teleport him into space? I don't know. If I crash it, it doesn't work, but I don't know if he comes to it. And if, it if I crash it, and I don't have any way of dealing with his armor, then I'm in trouble. So subverting that is the last chance, I suppose. How far have I? I've got, to go, I've got a long way to go to get there. I can't set off the alarm just yet. That would be terrible. Are they going in there to check on the item? They're going in there to check on the item, aren't they? Oh! That means, that's just in range of my, uh, visitor. Right? I'm going to my extreme range visitor, which means I could visit in there, shoot them, and the door's closed, be quiet, and they'll be dealt with. Hmm. Doesn't deal with him. I need to ask if can crash. Or run past. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, they're not even going in there. So much black plan. Oh, they are going there. Do I do it? Do I visit in there? I'll shoot him? That one's never gonna reach. Uh, they do have the key card, so I won't be locked in there at least. But I mean, it's a visitor, so I'll be out there pretty quickly anyway. Seems kind of a shame to waste my one visitor charge on that. Well, alright, let's crash the shield first of all. I don't know if I'm piercing guns, so. Crash your shield. What? Did I subvert? God, I didn't even sub. What did it do? What did, what did I end up subverting? A door? 
And when BB used to charge, it must have hit something. I didn't see it hit anything. Because his shield didn't turn green. Oh well, there's one of my subverted charges wasted. Good work. Good work, Andy. Excellent job. I'm gonna wait. Take an action while they weren't in this room. Because I can make noise as my you quiet the camp. Come on over here, guys, come back. Alright. So I can't quite deal with them all yet. Because of his armor. Oh, he's crashed. You can't sound the alarm. So if I shoot the others and just, if I s slipstream and just dodge his bullets, then that's fine, right? If I evade him, then what? Then I'm coming. Then I'm in here. This armored guy in such a huge open area. I don't think this stream's good enough. I don't trust my dodging skills. And then the target flees if I shut off the alarm. That's the problem. I can't have him fleeing. Not so soon. Not right now. Honestly, I should. As I say, you should put an acid trap up here. There's an acid trap. Acid trap fire if an ordinary gun walks over it. I don't know. Put it there to strip. I could use my extreme visitor. I kind of want to keep it for emergency. I could use a single visitor charge and put it here. But someone's going to see me shortly. Oh, fuck it. Let's just do something. Stream charge. It's self charging, why the heck not? I 
What am I going to do about the tracker? Here's the problem. I could emergency shield him. Three seconds. And then I can shoot him. Sure, why not? Turn on just before he comes through the door. Cool. Track her down. Nobody killed. Spent two minutes, 44 seconds. I'm not doing this very fast. But, very little equipment used. Well, one subverted by mistake. One crash, one visitor, one emergency shield. Let's get back on my slipstream. And I can actually pick up my crash trap charge anyway. Right, oops, acid trap charge. Where's my acid trap? Oh, that's the trap there. Huh. What did I just pick up? Oh, the emergency shield. Alright, we'll leave this over there. I can teleport it to me if I need it. If I want to swap. Oh, right. Nothing else of interest here. Oh, well, high velocity rifle. But it's not arm piercing. If it was. I'd be happy. Okay. No alarms. Yet. Is there a boss in this sector? Yeah. I wonder if I can crash. Got two crash shots left. I wonder if I can crash two of them, it's not that it really matters. Or if I can line them up. No, I don't want to support that gun. I can deal with the ordinary guards just by slipstreaming and shooting them. Um, it's these guys that are a problem. What is the range on my crash beam? I wish. No, it's not. Amazing. Is that. Does that use it? I hope not. No. It's not like it shows you the range. Uh, when it's just when it's selected, like does the teleport? I wish it did because it's just like too easy to accidentally target something you don't want just when you're trying to see what the range is. Um, I guess low, too many circles. I don't know. It'd be nice if I'm here hovering over my inventory instead of all this pop-up text. It should be mission useful information, and pop-up text is a separate option if I really want to read about it. So we've got to get through three more guys there, or four more guys there, four more guys here, and then we're in range of the telepad. I could use my extreme range visitor to get in there and do something with it, or I could subvert it. I don't know if subverting, I don't know what subverting it does, I don't know if it does what I need it to do. Let's worry about the problem at hand, let's get through this next sector. I need, to do, I need to deal with a gun before I run out here, because it will shoot me even if I'm still streaming. I don't think I can dodge it. Instantly kills you. Um, and that probably means getting behind it, so I need to time it so when it's not near me. I need to deal with him. I need to deal with... I can't set off the alarm again. I can't afford to set off the alarm. I need to wait till they group up. just have to wait a bit of patience. All on missions. Destroys the entire room. That would be fine. That would also absolutely set off the alarm. What if I do that? What if I slipstream now, destroy that room, run, visit behind. Oh, then I can't get in. No, that's not good. Destroy that room and then I'm stuck in the side so I can't get around. No, that's not good at all. Too soon to stop the arm, too soon. Are these people not going to group up? Are they just going to wander off in different missions themselves? They are, aren't they? Let's see if he'll come and spot me.
Oh, he's blood on his magic shield. Oh, I can crash him now. Crash him now. Sure. Let's crash him. Uh, come on. Turn around, dude. Stop looking at your computer. I can maybe make noise and throw something. stream there, but I guess self-charging, why not? Alright, so now he's going to come and investigate, he's going to run and get the armor stripped off. Wait till the door closes behind him. Cool, no one else heard my shot. Excellent. So if I take my... Oh my god, where's my after trap? Yes, got three charges. How do you use it three times then? I don't understand. self charging and three times use. What? Oh, I need to pick him up and move him. Oh, I don't want the gun. He's left the door open. Oh, alright. Stash later, I don't want it. Let's bring my visitor back. Uh, and remember, I've got a swap if I need it. How am I going to deal with these people? I need to wait till the guns face me all the way, and then I'd really just slipstream and shoot them. I think just run around and shooting them. Just Matrix. Just bullet time it. Just Max Payne. It's not my name. My name is Nicole Edgebon. Right, sentry guns facing the other way, and they're teaming up. This is my chance. not hear that shotgun blast. Alright, let's get behind that sentry gun and switch it off. Brilliant! <sighs> Slipstream. I've never used slipstreams because they're always so expensive normally. And to have a self-charging five use one is just like ridiculous. Alright, can I get this can I get this guy with an acid trap in exactly the same way? Well I need to crash him first. Crash beam. from here. No. Can I avoid crashing anything? Yes. Would you like to line up, guys? No? Maybe? I don't need to crash on both. Oh, we do need to wait till they all come back. And I can crash him. Set down an acid trap. Right at his feet, I guess. Slipstream and shoot everybody. Come on, stop running away, guys. Also, there, oh, they won't be out of bullet range, if, uh, hearing range if I'm in the next room. I wonder if I can just set the acid trap here and throw something just to tempt him in. Let's try it. Visitor, sure. Oh, I forgot to crash him. Let's do that. Get the slipstream at the ready. No, they're not going through. Well, let's try that again. Investigating. Alright, now, now's my time anyway. Let's time to slipstream. Acid trap. Yeah, it is recharging. 
But if I put it down, how do, oh, it'll three charges means it'll take out three guards as when I set it. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, nothing exciting from them. Oh, I don't have a level. Where's the level four key card? Oh, the tunnel. All right, cool. All right, that puts me to two items. That puts me within reach now of my teleporter. Rechargeable hopper. Cool. That's a stash for now. Not that I'm going to need it, but I'll decide on equipment before making my final assault. Oh, great. Rechargeable Sidewinder. I'm just taking that instead of the uh, visitor. Because uh, that'll let me teleport. As long as there's an open path, I can teleport straight into that room. And then start the alarm. How is, how, what's the best way to start the alarm? I don't know. I can... I don't want to subvert the sentry gun. The sentry gun's my problem. If the sentry gun's facing this way when he comes in, then I have a new then I have a problem. What have I got? No crash beams left. So it's just a stash of this, can't use it. Two subverter charges, so I need one on his shield. Or his armor. I They might, they might go in there, of course. I can't just go camp that spot. I can't just go camp that spot. I need a plan. I need a plan. I can subvert his shield. I shoot all these guys. Same tactics as before. There's a few of them. Um, and then switch off the sentry gun. Well, these use one subvert charge. for the sentry gun because it will kill them all that means it won't kill me but if it's not facing them I need to ask trap him I need this sentry gun facing right let's wait or oh, down down works now that nobody else is down let's do it Sentry gun is just shooting at me, but it hasn't quite got me yet. Let's use one of my sidewinder charges. Fuck, that was close. That's not recharged yet. Oh, I guess I could use my emergency shield as well. Alright, I got three of them with that shot. I guess acid's having its effect on him. I can't use that just yet. I might need to subvert him. Uh, I think that worked. Everybody in the sector is down. Oh shit. I was not planning for that. As long as I avoid getting shot, I'll be alright here because I can get back in and clear everyone out on the way. Well, that was the classic fuck up. Uh, I, the blue barrier was up. Why did I get sucked down in space when the barrier was up? Was I already getting sucked out because I was too near them? Alright, fine, whatever. Let's set up the acid trap just here. Oh, there's my there's a defend, defender. Oh shit, I didn't mean to turn that back on. What a stupid thing. Just trying to pick up bodies. And just 
drop them out of the way somewhere. Well, thankfully the uh, suction got rid of a bunch of them for me. Right. He's gonna flee, right? Yes. So all I need to do is set off an alarm. I have still my fizzle. Let's go see what's in that crate just for fun. Oh, uh, maybe not just yet. Oh, now's alright. Concussion hammer. Well, I can't use it. Uh, right, what equipment do I need? I want my acid trap. Don't want to use my left mouse button. I want that. Right, where's my chip gun? Um, swapper. There's the defender, there's my target. Huh. I'm not going to be able to deal with any of these guys while the stupid defender's there. I really just need to self the alarm. Let's go see what's in the solar chest. It's in my sector. Charge with a long range key cleaner. Well, I don't need a key cleaner. How long? Not long enough. Where's my. Uh, Uh, we should not reorder everything. Alright, what's my plan? What's my plan? Set off the alarm is my plan. How do I set off the alarm? Just go up to the door. What can I do with this? Can I use it myself? If I subvert it, what's it going to do? Do I have a backup plan if subverting it doesn't glitch him into space? I mean, I can, I can use it myself. I can just sit there and use it. Let's see he's running into the room. Oh, I know, I should just leave a body somewhere. That's... That's just going to be super cool. I'm just going to see a body and going to freak out. I need to wait till they are not coming here immediately. Eh, I could just trigger the heat sensor, of course, but eh, it's boring. Wait till they run away. Oh, we were just there. How did the body get there? Alright. Body! <laughs> right, we both got sucked out into space. He's, for some reason, over there. And I'm over here. Or teleport into space rather than sucked out. Uh, and I can pick myself up and let him... Just watch him slowly die here. Alright. Done. Well, I didn't get a perfect score because I spent seven on the acid trap, but I would not have been able to do it without. Uh, wait, what? Non target crew killed? Oh, three of them got sucked down into space. Damn it. Well, if it had been any more than three, I would have uh, died entirely because I just fired my shotgun without even checking the other window or anything. Fair enough. I only got 220 for that mission, seven expenses, final score 463. Not bad. For me, that's my best ever score on the daily, uh, but definitely not great. Given that equipment, especially the slipstream, I'm sure people are up in there approaching the 600s, but you can never quite get 600. Let's see. That was a good day. What is that achievement? I don't know. Uh, 69 expenses, nice, hexapodium. Uh, top scores, well, I'm ranked 98. Oh, that's, that's nice for me. I've never been under 100 before, so it won't stay, I'm sure. Yeah, 596. Look at these three people with 96. Really short times. I don't know how they did it. This really does need a uh, watch replay option because it's like, eh, it's just a score. People near me, though. 
Four seventies, four sixties. Yeah, lots of people spending nothing. How do they deal with? How do they deal? Do they just slipstream and run past everyone? Maybe you could. So Thomas More is uh, playing. I don't know. It was his kind of thing. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. I've got this character. I've got my house. High capacity slipstream. Let me see. Can I just run past people really easily? Right? If I just go and. Buy no equipment. Just do a, a quick practice run now. Uh, I mean, I've done the mission already, so it's not gonna. I've already sent my score, it's not gonna affect anything, but I. It's a perfect opportunity to learn about the capabilities of slipstreams. Um. How do you get keys? That's the problem. <laughs> what if you stop streaming and you visit a few times? And then assassinate him by blowing up a room? Well, I can't block the room. Oh, well, I can shoot him and then just kill him. Let's just try running through. Let's just see what happens. I can always wait in between places. No! Shit. Oh shit, I don't have the, uh... <laughs> well, this is going badly. So the answer is, they've got heat sensors, they'll set off alarms. Right, I need to visit and slipstream. I'm gonna shoot him. past people. Well, if you dodge their heat sensors, sure, but given the space... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna yeah, I'll get back. Can I? I'll just go back home and leave the character. Yeah, given their heat sensors, the second mission... No one had... Did they have heat sensors? Yeah, they did. They just have shields. Oh, I don't remember. Anyway. I wish you could do a practice on first, but of course that's for its purpose. Oh, people, people, how do I give up? How do I change people? There. Alright, well that's it. I'm uh, officially done with today's daily challenge. See you later.